Thank you, Madam Chair. And I wish to thank Chairman Schuster and Ranking Member DeFazio for their support of the amendment. The purpose of this amendment is to help local communities recover from flood disasters. Under current law, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers can only repair a non-federal levy if the flood protection benefit outweighs the cost. However, the standard can't always be met, especially in rural communities, with specific economic and demographic changes. The Lynn Small levy in southern Illinois is a perfect example. The levy breached in the, in the winter floods of, two, of January 2016. Several thousand acres of infrastructure and agricultural land were destroyed when the levee gave way. The crop estimate and the cost of repairing the levee would be higher than the flood protection benefit, leaving local residents with, with no resources or no recourse. My amendment provides new hope in my district and elsewhere. It also allows local sponsors to pay the difference between the cost of repairing a levee and its pro pro projected flood protection benefits. My amendment does not increase the federal government's share of the cost for repairs. Let me repeat that. My, my amendment does not increase the federal government's share of the cost of the repairs. This is a financial, responsible way to give life a lifeline to rural communities struggling to rebuild after disaster. The amendment is supported by the National Waterways Conference and the American Farm Bureau. I urge my colleagues to support my amendment, and I reserve my time. The gentleman serves. For what purpose does the gentleman from Louisiana seek recognition? Madam Chair, I ask unanimous consent to control time in opposition that I don't plan to oppose the amendment. Without objection. Uh, Madam Chair, this amendment uh, is, is designed to largely address I think a flaw that this underlying bill addresses in the in the cost to benefit ratio calculations used by the Corps of Engineers, by OMB, and others. Uh, this particular particular amendment is focused on emergency repairs. What this does is it allows uh, the non-federal entities uh, to to pay a higher non-federal cost share uh, for repairs to to levies. I know there are many issues with how OMB and the Corps calculate uh, benefit cost ratios. Uh, this is a, a, a a fix for emergency repairs while we work on the underlying bill for the larger uh, fixes. I want to thank uh, Mr. Boss for offering this amendment. We're prepared to 